Hello, fellow administrators. Welcome to One More Guide. This time, we'll be talking about Hades, one of the best CDPS units. As a member of Olympus faction, Hades is the representation of the god of underworld Hades from Greek mythology. While in Aether Gazer, she's a member of Society of Muses, who loves puppets a lot. Referred as the Youthful Witch, she's also the master and owner of two unique puppets, the maids Luke and Mintha. Hades, on her release, was referred by our player base as the hero of free-to-play players. Fortunately, she finally got her module released. Now let's work. In Ether Codes, Hades have only one option to be chosen, but it's highly dependent on manual gameplay, Red Code. Red Code is the best and mostly the only option you can pick if you want to play as Hades. All of the other codes are useless if we compare them. However, I understand that not all players are fond to manually play all units, so this code will only be acceptable to be used by AI if you have Selene. Blue Code is not a good choice. The structure will affect Hades' whole kit, making it suited to be used by AI. The situation of why I don't recommend neither blue or yellow is because red is the only code as well that provides status in order to help fixing the rank progression problem of Hades. If you don't plan to manually play as Hades, you can safely jump to the next topic. Just put blue code if you don't have Selene, or red code if you have Selene. Otherwise, let's proceed. I tried to summarize and make it easier for others to understand in a way that I believe you can safely play as Hades, even if you before had problems with her divine grace management. Easy method to manage Hades DG bar is to use basic attack and then dodge cancel or skill cancel, since you'll only take advantage of the first hit from BA to fix her DG, or you can use the full sequence if your DG is too low. It's recommended as well that you try to keep at all costs her DG at 50, and if you're using S Oniroy in the team, hold the use of either Dance Duo or Skill 3 Enhanced Version until S Oniroy performs her ult because of her hit counter. I recommend to watch my guide for her to understand better. Also, you can switch between Skill 2 Enhanced or Skill 3 Enhanced according situation. My combo is just a generic one to help any starting player of Hades. When talking about functors, I highly recommend to obtain Hades Sig Key, Cerberus. However, if your Hades doesn't have her module fully unlocked yet, then use the four-star Gotcha Key Melampus. The Gen Zone Key is useless for her. Now, here comes the sigil setup that many of you may end up getting upset. The best sigils for Hades usual setup are Elgidner, Moon, and Acheron. While for Omega, I highly recommend using Lord, also called by Ruler of Heavens. The reason I don't recommend Plague is informed below, and I'm already producing a proper guide explaining the differences between the three sigils of Dark Element. However, no worries, I made some suggestions if you already hard invested on Plague. In Warps, the general setup works pretty fine in Hades. Just pay attention to adapt the slots 5 and 6 according rank progression and your team composition. No need to worry about the other slots since, once more, general setup. Unfetter is not a mandatory warp to use, but you can consider it in situations of enemies with low amounts of HP and even more if they don't have two phases. In Enchants, just follow the usual priority. Regarding the skill enchant, the priority is the lowest. Now, regarding team compositions. The best team for Hades is Selene and S. Oniroy. Between Selene and S. Oniroy, S. Oniroy is obviously the priority. The same rule of priority applies for Sig Keys. S. Oniroy, then Hades, and then Selene. However, until you achieve this team, or if you can't afford them, then there's alternate options. Ling Guang can be used as third placement, but it's recommended to have S. Oniroy or you can consider A1 Eroy as filler placement. I forgot to include Bastet's data in S1 Eroy guide, but I made sure that I didn't forgot to include her in here. The reason is because Heimdall and Bastet are another alternate option that can safely help Hades. Now, before we conclude this guide, one user asked me to compare S Hera and S Oni Roy in a team made of Hades and Selene. As you guys can see, S Hera wasn't able to help Hades and Selene clear the iteration check 8 of Ice Element, 
while S. Oni Roy cleared it without any issues. For those who are worried about investing in this team in the future, no worries. Soon I'll be uploading my battle run on floor 8 of iteration check in my server. One more thing, I couldn't include all the detailed explanations about Hades because I'm trying to keep my word of making guides below 10 minutes. I'll also upload my long promised guide for Thoth as soon I finish all of this. The delay is because I want to answer the trust that all of you put on me since you see me showing results instead of only words. If needed, no worries. Feel free to ask over comments. That's all for now, dear administrators. I hope to see you in the next guide. Until next time.